I have a question. Uh, as far as accountability goes, when these bills happen, are you, is, is anybody fined? I mean, it seems like, is there anything, like you just built X amount of raw sewage, does the EPA fine the city? Is there any kind of... The EPA, EPB can fine the city. But that is not like... Automatic. It's not, it's not automatic, automatic or it's based on the gallon or whatever it is. But they, they do have that authority to... to uh, have they? Have they ever? I've been here, I've been city manager two years. Um, since I've been here two years, no, that we've not had We've been going on for a long time. Before I've not been happening, so. We're, we're, under, we're under the similar, uh, still from the with, uh, with uh, EPD. Uh, but um, as far as I can remember back, I don't think we've had a fine. That, you know, what they've done in lieu of fines is they added more projects to keep the problem from happening. They, they'll, they'll do that many times. <laughs> Rather than a dollar value, they'll add more projects to the consent order. How will the notification system change? Notifying, notifying us downstream. And the reason I ask, a year or two ago, my, oh yeah, we have a place in North Carolina, my lab's playing around the water, we kayak a lot, Mr. Scott, like you do, and enjoy the water, get the truck, I'll have a text from a local official, stay out of the river. The spill had happened four or five days prior. We just found out that day. And I've been in the river playing with my lab and having a good time on the North Carolina River. How will the notification system change to guarantee that everyone, even those who don't have email and internet access along the river, know about these bills? Because that, to me, is criminal, criminal neglect because you're endangering their lives. I mean, because you're in that water, their animals are in that water, their farm animals are in that water, and no one knows. I don't think I have an answer to that. You ask to anybody on that email list, you can get it by phone, you can get it by um, notification, you can get more specific. Um, and I think it's just a waterway. Obviously, we don't want to egg on we had one person in the campground get a reverse 911 call, and we had quite a few people in the campground have no internet. So we're trying to take care of ourselves, and we're trying not to be dependent upon any government organization, because we do, you know, with the exception of a few people, um, you know, a lot of the people in Hamilton County, it's a 4K. So the, the folks that can help, I think, are helping <coughs> to do the job of it. But there has to be several ways of getting rid of Mr. Parker, is anybody here from Madison County? Uh, do y'all live within how far of the river? Three miles. Did y'all get our code red announcements on your telephone? Yes. Okay, so we have a code red system in Madison County in our emergency management can uh, pinpoint target areas in the county, put out a, a blast phone call, uh, automated message that, that gives those type of warnings. Well, I'm glad to see that in our county, that, I think that system worked pretty good. And uh, so I don't know if Hamilton or Swanee has code red or similar type of announcement notification system. You're going to relying a lot on the systems to tell you communications. I'm assuming that their battery or generator backup in the event of a catastrophic electrical outage, they all are on battery or generator backup. That would be the purchase for more generators for backup. My other question is, and I don't know if you can do it in this particular area, but have you all looked at uh, high injection uh, well, well pumps for overflow of the sewage? They do um, use them in Collier County, in South Florida. They pump 35,000 feet down in, into the aquifer, but scientists have said by the time it comes out in the ocean, it's purified. Yeah, now that's a uh, pretty uh, not wild allowed statement. Us to do it. Yeah, we only allow to be surface discharge. I know down there, like in Gainesville, Florida, they have a deep well injection. They actually, instead of surface water injection, they dug a well 3,500 feet, and they're pumping it in the ground 3,500 feet. Uh, you know, some pros, some cons, some folks are pro to that. Some folks don't think they uh, that should be happening either. So, you know, still some science needs to be done up in this area to make sure it's all right. soil condition. Yeah, well, they use the bubble way. system in South Florida. Yep. They inject it into the uh, brackish water They're system. going into the lower, lower Florida. I don't know yeah, if you can do that. Well, whatever you can do to communicate with us, get us some information, and support us uh, in 
me as a citizen, I greatly appreciate your help. I have a question about those three alerts in Florida. The first one was put out on the 10th when all anybody knew was there was still. Okay, better safe than sorry. The second one was put out when, as I understand it correctly, Valdosta found an elevated bacterial level at US 84, which I believe <coughs> we heard earlier is right next to the state line. Uh, does anyone in Valdosta know how many river miles from US 84 to the state line? Uh, 27, or about three days. And is anybody measuring at the intermediate boat ramps to see how the sewage is moving down the river? Valdosta, for example, is Valdosta doing that? No. We have uh, an answer from Tom Murdy of Swanee River Water Management District. We have done that, yeah. As you know. <coughs> Did you do it at Knight's Ferry in Anchorage? We haven't done it consistently, but we have done it you know, on, a, on a still, you know, on a, on a location popped up at, you know, either at 84 or whatever. But we have done it on a consistent basis. In conjunction with DOH and DEP on specific days. Yeah, on specific days. And we did a site. We did a Okay, and with the Knight's Ferry in Anchorage, yeah. USA 4 and State Line, but Valdosta has not. The bus is basically flushed its sewage down the river. No, no sir. I'm going to have to throw it there. When I just, just like the gentleman here said, when we got that hot spot at Mike's Creek, we went down there. And we took our crew down there. They took samples. They did the lab work. We took it to a lab in Thomasville because the other folks were going to say, oh, they're just making the numbers up. The numbers that you were posting on your Facebook were much higher than the independent lab and our own folks said. So I really can't let you stand here and not say we haven't been out there and do it. And you we ever returned that down data down. in response to the open records request I fired a week ago? I will have to talk to the city clerk about that. You can file it with me, sir. I asked you in your office earlier. And I gave you all the data. You asked me for the data, every 